Hello, it's Mrs C here. Today I'm reading Little Brown by Marla Frazzi. Little Brown was cranky, probably because no one ever played with him. Or maybe no one ever played with him because he was cranky. At this point, it was hard to know. The big dogs chased balls. The small dogs ran around in circles. The old dogs napped together in the shade. The young dogs got muddy. But Little Brown did nothing and did it alone. He knew he could be a dog who would, if given half the chance, chase balls, run in circles, nap in the shade, or get muddy. But Little Brown just watched the others and got crankier and crankier. That's why when that ball rolled right over to him, he nabbed it. And that's why he grabbed the tassel toy too, and the blanket, and the stick, and the flying disc, and the football, and the happy rope, the chew bone, the stripy pillow, and even the rock. Soon he had collected quite a lot of things that didn't belong to him. The big dogs and small dogs and old dogs and young dogs stopped what they were doing and looked at Little Brown. They looked at the stuff. They wanted it back. But Little Brown wasn't giving in. This was a dilemma. The dogs wondered things, some of which they'd wondered before. Is Little Brown cranky because we don't play with him? Or do we not play with him because he is cranky? Should we play with him to get the stuff back? Or will that make us cranky too? What then? Little Brown wondered things too. If I give it all back, will they like me? Then will they play with me? What if I give it all back and they still won't play with me? What then? None of the dogs could figure it out. Neither could Little Brown. It was a lot to wonder about. So they all sat around wondering and scratching until it was time to go in. Maybe tomorrow they would know what to do. What do you think? Do you think they'll know what to do tomorrow? I hope so. I'll see you next time. Bye.